Okay, let's move on. Here we're on midterm number three review sheet, and I am on problem number nine now. And uh, it says consider a set of eight, eight objects, and we're going to calculate x as the number of five element subsets. And then we're going to calculate y as the number of five lists, which means lists of length five. When repeats are allowed, the quantity z is going to be the number of five lists when repeats are not allowed. And let me calculate those three first. So for part A, the number of five element subsets of an eight element set is C85, which is eight factorial over eight minus five factorial three times five factorial, which is eight factorial over three factorial five factorial, which is eight times seven times six times five factorial over three times two, and five factorials cancel. The three times two is a six, that cancels and I get 56. I think I've gotten this number a couple times here, this review sheet. Uh, okay, so that's the number of five element subsets from an eight element set. How about the number five lists when repeats are allowed? When repeats are allowed, I'm going to have eight choices at each step of the way as I build this five list. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to get eight to the fifth. Okay, and that's the number five list. In general, I'm pretty happy if you just leave it like this. I don't want you to leave it like this. I want you to go ahead and ca cancel the factorials, but if it's eight to the fifth, something like that, there's no new reason to calculate it all out. For part C, five lists if repeats are not allowed. This is where we use the P58, or 85, the number of permutations of length five uh, from an uh, from an eight element set, and this is eight factorial over eight minus five factorial, which is eight factorial over three factorial, which is eight times seven times six times five times four times three factorial over three factorial. You see, I just go down far enough on my factorial till I get to the point where I can make the cancellation with the with the denominator, and this can be. Uh, reasoned through the counting principle also by saying hey look I have eight choices for the first one seven for the second one because I'm not allowed repeats six and then five and then four and so you can see that the permutation formula comes right out of the counting principle uh, let's see now calculate the ratio uh, x over z. Let's see, this was x, this was y, and this is z. Um, x over z. Let's see, x is small, z is large. I'm going to calculate, uh, and I probably should have written z over x there, z over x. This is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 all over 8 times 7. And this is um, the 8 times 7 cancels, and I get 6 times 5 times 4. And what is this? This is 30 times 4, or 120. And I want you to, to explain why is this value what you expect in terms of the relation between 5 element subsets and 5 element lists without repeats. Well, for each five element subset, there are many five element lists without repeats uh, that correspond to exactly those five elements. Why are there many? Because the order doesn't matter in the subset, whereas the order matters in the list. And so all the different ways of reordering a five-element subset 
turn into all of the different ways of creating the five element list without repeats. How many ways are there to order uh, a five element subset? Reorder five objects. We know how, how many ways. That's the number of permutations of five objects. That's five factorial, which is five times four times three times two times one, which is 120. And so this 120 is exactly what we expect it to be. Uh, we expect there to be 120 times more ordered lists then there are subsets because for every subset there are 120 different lists uh, that correspond to that subset and so that's the idea on problem number nine and I've given some examples just like this uh, in the lectures as we went and so here hope that helps on problem number nine